Oh, is that an armadillo? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Open wide. Look at this. Welcome back to Capybara Land. Pui Pui. Good morning, sir. You've amassed quite a sum of poop here. And he's about to be. <laughs> oh, there he is. They made watermelons from Minecraft a real thing? Put your hands in his mouth. Wait, now, what are these things on its back? Look whose life I just saved. You guys, Big Ounce is dying again. And he's starving. He needs alligator gar to eat now. Look how hungry he is. He needs an alligator gar to eat. What's that, Big Ounce? What do you say? You need an alligator gar to eat or else you'll die? Don't worry, son, I'm on. Well, 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 look whose life I just saved by cleaning out this pool. An adorable baby boy. All right, son, how's about you go back under the foundation of my house or wherever you were living? How about we let Travis Scott eat you? Speaking of which, I need to thaw out a little frozen mouse for Mark Zuckerberg to eat. That's it, though. Parker's Queen and Kanye all live under the house, and I'm going to go catch a gar. What's up, guys? Going after gator gar today again. I'm listening to a little pump-up music in the car okay. while I'm headed to the spot. <laughs> In this Minecraft day, so beautiful. All right, we're just gonna push this old brand new kayak that Uncle Ben got down this hill. Let's go ahead and see it. Come on! Look at this brand new nice thing that Uncle Ben got. Look at those adorable little cows over there. Right at the first spot, we saw coyote tracks, this. armadillos, and even gator tracks. Yo, Look yo, at yo. these. These are gator tracks. We're still using the same carp we caught in the last couple of videos as bait. And Kyle, the fish Do whisperer it. here, was nice enough to show us the most humane way to catch them with rod and reel. The premise yeah. of this new method is to hook them directly in the mouth and not let them swallow the hook, which most gar anglers do. But uh oh, he missed the hook set. My yeah, turn. Let <laughs> him go, bro. He's really moving. There's the float out there. They really made fish from Minecraft a real thing. So why do they just take it and then like go like 20 feet away? They're running from other gar trying to eat it. Oh. Uh, you can click it. I'll let you know when. Now. Take a look at old Uncle Ben's pristine hook set. How's about y'all go in the comments and say, wow, Uncle Ben, that sure was a decent hook set. We're proud of you and we love you. But yeah, I fought this thing for what seemed like an hour, but it was really only like five minutes. Sus! Sus! Oh my goodness. As you can see, the way Kyle's rig works is it hooks them right in the mouth without letting them swallow the bait or the hook. Look at the sheer power of this amazing animal. Come on in here. <laughs> Just lift him. Put your hands in his mouth. Right there in the corner. Definitely not in his throat at all. Awesome, dude. Will we be able to get that out of there? Yeah, we'll try. Well, 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 well. Look what we finally got. Adorable baby boy. Now, what are these things on its back, you guys? Oh, are these parasites on its back? Look there's at that. Parasite. What are they called? They're on most of the garbage. Okay? Yeah, there's a ton of them. Take a look at this incredible dinosaur of a fish, you guys. This is literally a dinosaur. You think we can eat can we eat these things they're like little squids look at that weird little thing so right now kyle is doing something very loving to the fish that very right. few other anglers do. also look how girthy this boy right is. now he's actually attempting to get the hook out of this thing's mouth now, these are amazing taxonomic relics that can live to be over 40 years old but most people just gut hook them with treble hooks or shoot them with bows and with kyle's new method for hooking them this is a bit more dangerous for the angler but it's a lot more loving for the fish well, that's a risky business bro risky business there are zero recorded instances of alligator guards attacking humans but needless to say do not do this at home do not try and recreate what you're seeing here kyle and i and brandon are trained professionals doing the most for this fish more than anyone else ever did open wide see it's not that hard to do but they are still incurring a huge liability if this thing thrashed around and started to bite this would be bad but he got the hook out and now this awesome animal can go back without a cheek piercing you can really respect the size of this animal when it's next to two full-grown men this is actually considered a small one it's only five to six feet and honestly i don't know if i would have been able to lift this thing if i hadn't have been lifting consistently for the last three months but these are incredibly majestic awesome and calm animals that i think should be protected as a sport fish species and not be shot with bows look at that beautiful set of chompers right there and look at these beautiful beautiful parasites I'm super thankful that I got to spend some time in the water with this amazing creature that's been around since the Cretaceous period. And Kyle has so much experience and passion for this that he can't help but respect them and want to protect the fishery. You can see these fish are completely harmless. They do not want to hurt you. I don't think they could if they want it. Well, I mean, no, only accidentally. That's what I said in the last video. The only way they'll hurt you is if you stick your fingers in their mouth like we just did. But we did that for the sake of fish. So 
There we go. Look, we'll at, let him Look at that big tail. That, that fish is probably around eight to ten years old. Still a baby. And while those boys were catching their fish, I found this little boy from across the river. As you can see, this is Libto Man, name of Armadillo. He is a small juvenile that can't really see or hear things very well. And I'm not one to back away from an armadillo creature feature for you guys, especially when it's ripe for the plucking. But these guys rely mainly on their smell and vibrations on the ground to see if predators are coming. And you can't see this, but I'm downwind from it, so he can't smell me, and then I'm in the boat, so he can't feel any vibration. And right now, I think he's just eating roots or digging for clams or bugs, which is what they eat. And right now, I'm going to show you guys how to catch an armadillo. It's really not hard at all, especially when you have this kind of advantage and you're downwind from them. You simply sneak up from behind them and pounce. Whoa, is that an armadillo? <laughs> don't mind if I do. Come here, son. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, son. <laughs> this right here is an armadillo. We're going to do a creature feature today. I love catching these things so much because if you just hold them on their back, they just kind of go comatose. They just kind of give up. These guys can carry leprosy, so we don't want to ingest any of their bodily fluids. He starts to freak out and thrash around. Then I might actually ingest his poop. And we don't want that one bit. Armadillos are really common down here in Texas and in the South. But the nine-banded armadillo here is the only one that's native to the United States. As you can see, they have these sharp little claws that they use to dig and look for food. Also, I'm the one shivering. I'm very excited. I don't get to catch these guys very often. As you can see, these guys cannot actually roll up into little balls. Only two species of armadillo can do that, and it's not this one. But they use these adorable little claws to dig little dens and burrows where they live. Believe it or not, these guys live much longer than other small mammals. They actually live to be over 20 years old. But here's another amazing misunderstood and harmless creature that I'm thankful I got the chance to show you guys and teach you about. But we're going to let them go because they taste terrible. Beautiful little creature. All right, goodbye. I actually remembered to bring water in my Minecraft backpack this time. And look at this. It's basically the beach, you guys, but it's on the river. A little broken wing that be all found because you saw it you have to eat it oh no it's it can fly just not very well you know the rules brandon you find it you eat it <laughs> they made watermelons from minecraft a real thing these are little cherry watermelons you're supposed to eat them whole it's very bad my face when I provide for my family. Oh man, you can wait till we get to the restroom. Uh, Stop. I just, I had to get this thing out of me. What? what? Uncle Ben here. This is a little wait, sussy. No, this is the new way Kyle rigs his bait that doesn't end up gut hooking the fish. As you can see, he just ends up hooking this little thread here and then he wraps it around and loops it there. We also found this fossilized tooth. What do you guys think this is? Is it something ancient or is it just like a cow tooth? And I think this is a broken arrowhead, but I'm not sure. What is this? Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Capybara Land. Pui Pui. As you can see, this is Gort and Quandel Dingle. They are both gamer girls and rather handsome at that. And today I'm going to show you Big Ounce's Yahoo. Look at this little man. He's about to do Oh, there he is. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. But he ran right over there to eat their food. I told you guys, they grow like weeds here. Put Karen and Kevin in here with these adorable babies so they can socialize. But Kevin's still a bit of a dingleberry. Kevin will share his food with his sons, but he won't share it with the emu. That's why I have two little troughs here. One for the big boys, one for the little boys. But now we have this large trough that I have a zip-tied hose to so I can automatically refill it. Yeah, it's a pretty good setup. For now, everyone seems happy except for Kevin, who wants to kill me at any chance he can get. He's still not very used to this. But Karen loves it. She fits right in with all of her babies. But Kevin does chase James, Charles, and Shrek away any chance he can get. He loves and takes care of his children, but he will not let these guys come anywhere near the food. So I'm gonna need to remove Kevin. Quite the shame, but look at this. Isn't that awful? Kevin, no! Look at him! Yeah, I'm gonna have to kick him out. No, we don't do that, Kevin. We do not do that! Come here, Kevin. Go ahead, Kevin, attack me. Why aren't you attacking me? You wanna attack the little guys? Why don't you attack me, huh? Why don't you attack me, Kevin? Banished. You've been banished. Karen is my wife now. That was the last straw. You have been banished from this town. You're done. Get out. The piggies are doing really, really well, and they're happy in their little place here, away from the foundation of my home. And a vet came out yesterday and inspected the whole facility, and they said we look good. So now we have a vet partner. I rehomed all the chicks except this little guy because he's so adorable. Keep in Remington for forever until he dies. And who knows when that's going to be. The geese are thriving. I'm filling up their water right now. Tank is our beautiful pool boy now and he cleaned our pool so we got another cappy blappy video for you guys tomorrow and the baby still vibes under the poop trampoline per usual good morning sir you've amassed quite a sum of poop here haven't you you've amassed quite a sum of poop sir 
please come back. Quite the impressive song. Sir, I just wanted to say thank you for eating and pooping so much under my trampoline. Really means a lot to me that you'd go to all that trouble just to make that fertilizer right there under my trampoline, sir. Thank you so much. You're a handsome man. You're a good man. And with your music career and your daughters and your wife, I really appreciate you taking all the time to come over here poop under my trampoline, Mr. DeBaby. You're a good man. That's it, though, guys. Thanks for watching my video. I love you. I appreciate you. Big Ounce loves you and appreciates you. And now that we caught that gar, he can... Ah!